What up, people? It's the superhero of YouTube, your boy Jay, and I'm back with another episode of Jay Don't Know Jack, because I really don't. I just like voicing my opinion. Anyway, today's topic, you going to jail. Um, normally, this is like a sports talk about my opinions on certain things dealing with sports, but there was something that happened in the news, uh, actually a few things, but I'm only going to talk about one topic. Um, it's about this robbery that went bad, turned to murder, and I will leave a link to the video in the description below uh, so that you all can go watch it on YouTube. So basically what happened is that this guy, 21-year-old Nathan Potter in Milwaukee, was walking. I don't know if he was coming from school or whatever. It was at night, and he got jumped and robbed by two people, and they killed him. Um, and the video that I'm talking about is... Again, I will leave a link to it in the description. This guy, the one that got convicted of the murder while he was in trial, the first, you know, the hearing. And he basically turned around, started making gestures towards the family, the camera, like, yo, I'm a gangster. I'm about that life. I'm about it, about it, like Master P used to say. Um, yeah, he started making these gestures and stuff. So um, seven months later, you know, his, his trial, as far as his hearing on... Um, his sentencing, you know, to give him, you know, how long he's going to have to do his jail time for, you know, what he's done, you know, the robbery and the murder. Well, they gave him life, right? <laughs> life without parole. And what made that uh, happen was the fact that when he's hearing, he turned around and made those gestures and smiled when he was leaving the courtroom like he, he had a thug life, like he was about that life. So by him doing that, they played that in the court and the family gave their statements and he ended up getting life without parole. The other guy that was with him that was in a murder and all of that, he only got 12 years. So in 12 years, he's going to be getting out and the other guy's going to be in there for life. Um, but his family, right, as they were crying and leaving the court when, when their son, nephew, whatever, brother got life in jail you know he was crying and all that i mean basically from seven months ago he was all thug life and now he's in jail crying and um the family is all screaming and yelling and they screamed at the other family potter family the guy that got killed and said we hate y'all like i don't get that how you gonna hate them i mean what, what, what they're supposed to be like oh it's all good you know you kill our son don't worry we can go make another one like, come on people how you going to scream at the family of, you know, the victim and be like, we hate y'all. I mean, I can understand you don't want to see your family member go to jail for life, but he committed the crime, though. Come on, man. But uh, anyway, I brought this up when, when I saw this story, it made me think of, you know, our justice system and how sometimes going to jail it, to some people is like going on a vacation. I mean, you get cable, you get fed, you get, you know. Some of everything in jail now. You know, you got TV, you got computers. Shoot, I guess it is like going on a vacation. Some people might rather go to jail than go to war. So, um, anyway, I took a class while I was in uh, Washington. It was, uh, I think it was political justice. And my teacher, he was able to travel the world and go to different countries. And he went to this one country and he told us a story about how their crime is so low. And he said the main reason why it's low, he was able to talk to the, I don't think it was the king or whoever it was. He was able to talk to them and they explained to him why the crown was low. It's because their jail system, their prison is considered one of the best in the world. That's what the king said. He says he think how he handles prisoners and the justice system is the best way to do it in the world. I'm going to explain it to you. This is how they do it. I forgot what country it was, but I'm called me crazy. I kind of like the idea. So here's how it goes. He has this big, huge prison, and it's miles away from, from everybody. It's like in the middle of nowhere, and it's broken down. You don't have mixed uh, criminals, meaning you don't have your people who've convicted of robbery, 
mixed in with the people that are convicted of drug uh, selling drugs, mixed with murderers. He says that the reason he don't do that is because he don't want people that are convicted for robbery talking with murderers. Now, if they get out, the next time if they decide to rob, they're now wanting to kill the person because they you know they've been talking with murderers in jail. So now they feel like they're killers also. So um, he says that's how he breaks it down. He says that way they know who or what and where, you know, get the robbers over here, the killers over here, the drug dealers over here. So that part I actually, you know, it's like, okay, that's pretty cool. But here's the part that I actually really liked about his prison system. They don't feed the prisoners. They don't get no TV. They don't get no internet. They don't get no Facebook. They don't get no, no, no full course meal. He said the only thing that they get in his prison is water and bread and basic clothing. He says the only way they will eat anything other than bread and water is if the family brings them something to eat. Now, I want you all to think about this. The prison system, you, they, they go to jail, they get, shoot, some of everything. I don't, I don't even like the meals they get. Like, you know, they got to get the meat. They got to get the bread. They got to get the, the starch, you know, the, you know, the food groups. But imagine going to jail, like the prison, and he says he, he he has a prison like miles away. So let's let's say, for instance, in the United States, right? Let's say we build this mass prison in Alaska, right? And I say Alaska because it's the, the farthest away from, you know, the other uh, states. So let's say we build this huge prison in Alaska. And you only feed them bread and water. And the only way... Uh, your family member will get something other than bread and water is if you fly, drive, take a boat, walk, ride a bicycle all the way to that prison to give him a bowl of cereal. To be honest with you, I think that would change some people's mind. Like you trying to tell me I'm about to go to jail. I ain't gonna be able to see nobody. I ain't gonna have no conjugal visits. Only thing I'm eating is bread and water for 10 years. 10 years, bread, water. I don't know. But let me know what your opinion is. I mean, do you think the way how, again, I forgot what country it was or where it was at. Do you think that way of handling prisoners, people who are convicted of crimes is the best way? And do you think that it could work in the United States. Is this I know it's I know it's a little bit different, but I know I have some smart subscribers. I know you all this is like a gaming channel, but I know there are times we want to talk about other things other than gaming. So I might be reaching when I'm making this video, but I do do other things other than play video games. I like to talk about politics, I like to talk about uh life you know, religion, but I'm not going to talk about religion on this channel because religion is just too in-depth and to it cause an uproar. But again, um, let me know what you think about what I said about, let me know, first of all, what you think about the, the, uh, the case. I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the video to where, you know, this guy was all thugged out and then all of a sudden he's crying and the family is screaming, I hate you to the other family because their family member killed their family member. Um, let me know your opinion on that, and then let me know your opinion on the prison system. Like, should it be separated far as the, you know, the killers, the robbers, and should we take away privileges like cable and internet and, you know, stuff like that. So, let me know what your opinion is. Until the next episode, is Jay and I don't know Jack. But I like to voice my opinion anyway. And I am is out.